The concept came up because Driscoll's Europe moved to Australia, recognising there was a big hole in the market for quality strawberries and raspberries. They are world renowned. They have um, a company in America and they were looking for growers in Tasmania to grow the berries for them. Our friends um, in England, uh, they're very experienced strawberry growers. They're the second largest strawberry growers in Europe. Uh, I think they've been growing for over 118 years. Over the next year, we threw the idea around of the possibility of setting up a joint venture or a partnership based here at Burlington. And we've been going a year so far. This time last year, it was a greenfield side. We have invested in producing strawberries and raspberries for the domestic market, mainly on the mainland, but also in some Tasmanian stores as well. It's using the latest techniques and technology to maximise our production and supply from November through till, till May um, strawberries and raspberry varieties. It's been hard work but um, rewarding. On the berry farm we've got 10 hectares of these tunnels covering the strawberries and 5 hectares covering the raspberries, so 196 continuous tunnels. We will go to a maximum length of 130 metres. The aim is to design your site around the efficiency of picking. We market through Driscoll, so they're our marketing organisation. It's a good model because we can focus purely on the growing production and packing of fruit. The varieties we grow are Driscoll's genetics, and so they know they produce the quality they need to sell. The strawberry variety we grow is Amnesty, and it's well known for both its quality and also in its um, shelf life, it'll last a whole long trip up to Brisbane, for example. The raspberry varieties that we are growing are uh, Maravilla, it's the most popular raspberry variety on the market worldwide at the moment. Agriculture in general is, is getting more and more high-tech. Starting from a, a monetary side and budgets, it's all run per plant or per kilo. Um, all tasks are barcoded or coded, so all, all staff have their own barcode. And it allows the business to be very analytical in its operations. And then we can look at using more high-tech methods to improve efficiency in that, that aspect of the business. We've been very lucky recently to be awarded a grant. That has accelerated our plans significantly. We feel that we're able to expand. The opportunities in Tasmania, looking ahead, looking five, ten years down the track, I think are significant. You've got the right climate, you've got good soils, you've got excellent water. If anything has Tasmanian attached to it, people see it as cleaner, greener, fresher, more natural. People want, they want perfection and so that's what we're striving for is to provide them with that. So you've got to just go for it, give it a go and um, I think the sky's the limit really.